Hey guys, what's up? It's Nicole. Today is September 10th, and right now we are in the middle of Hurricane Irma, but the good news is that she has weakened a little bit to a Category 3. We prepared for the worst, so hopefully we still have power. So I just wanted to make this video because I did a poll on Twitter whether you guys wanted relationship advice or a drive with me. Obviously, I'm not doing a drive with me, but I might have that planned maybe for next week because you guys really seem to like my drive with me's. Um, I love to film drive with me's because it's just a chill video and I can just, um, the editing is not as treacherous as like a sit down video like this one. So today's video is going to be a relationship advice. Now, I know most of you are thinking like, you know, yeah, I'm 21. I know a lot, okay, because I've been through a lot. So I'm going to educate you guys, my young teenagers out there. So if you want to, get a pen and paper, and I'm going to give you some advice. So my first tip on relationships. If you are in, in a long-distance relationship and you start to feel doubt, like you feel like it isn't going to work out, please talk to your significant other. Be like, hey, I feel like I feel some doubt here, and he might give you some research reassert da, da, da. oh my god he might give you some reassurance and say it's okay everything will be fine but you know i've heard that before and i don't believe it because my ex andrew um said that to me during our relationship and look what happened it blew up into flames but that relationship is history um oh my god don't even mm, that relationship makes me mad but anyway i just feel like when you're in a relationship here's the one thing that i've learned um i learned this from a youtuber that i watch um she said that you can only be happy with yourself please make sure you're happy with yourself before you start to rely on someone else to say that they love you or you're beautiful you know like for example when your boyfriend tells you oh hey babe you look gorgeous today or oh my god i love what you did with your hair you need to give yourself self-love and self-confidence into yourself before you rely on other people to give it to you you know what i'm saying so don't rely on your significant other to give you that love and affection for yourself you need to have self-love in yourself so that when you're in a relationship that you know what they're saying like you know you're beautiful you know that you're beautiful inside and out so you know you have that confidence in yourself to understand like yeah i can do this like you're your own person and if it doesn't work out yeah breakups are hard let me know down in the comments if you would want me to make a video about breakups because i've been through plenty of breakups in my day um but as I say, it takes the right person because they have to like the same interests as you and they have to love everything about you. And trust me, like even for me, after Andrew broke up with me in 2000, Andrew broke up with me December 19th, 2015. And that was a hard day for me. It was a week or so, a couple days before Christmas. So it was hard for me, but I'm a very strong person. I would like to just say this one thing. If Andrew didn't break up with me, like, it literally made me into the person that I am today. Like, I'm a very strong person. Like, I don't take nobody's crap anymore. I've kind of gotten to the point where I've gotten a little bit more tougher skin. You know, like, I don't, I'm not as sensitive I used to, as I used to be. I still am pretty sensitive, though, but not as sensitive. I kind of give it right back to you. Like, I don't know if that's good or bad. But, you know, like, I feel like since I'm 21, and I'll be 22, November 20th is my birthday, so... I'm hella excited to turn 22. Um, I've learned a lot about relationships and I'm trying to help you guys. I'm trying to share my wisdom with you guys because I know most of my viewers are younger than me, um, which is fine. I don't care. I like to have a widespread of audience. So anyway, um, trust is a big deal in relationships. You have to have trust. You, you just, trust is so big. Because like, for example, like if I were to go out with another guy and he was my friend, I'd have to ask the boyfriend and be like, hey, is it okay if I go on a, um, to the water park with, um, Joe? Me and Joe are going to the water park. Can I go with him? And if he says, if your boyfriend be like, yeah, I trust you, that's trust. And trust is so big in relationships. Like, I feel like that's the number one thing for me is trust to have in relationships because, you know, for me, I, it's not easy for me to gain trust for people. Like for me, trust is really hard, but if you're a good caring person, I'm gonna know that. And for me also, opening up to your significant other can be hard too, because for me, it's even hard for me to open up to um, like my crush, for example. It's super hard for me to open up to him, but once I opened up to him about my breakup, everything has changed and everything has been wonderful and i think it's brought him and me closer together which i'm not going to complain about like heck yeah hello how you doing 
So what I just acknowledge you guys is I hope this advice helps you. Let me know down in the comments below if it helps you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so, so, so much. This video will probably go up as probably I'll edit it tonight and if I still have power I might put it up tomorrow I don't know thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to be yourself because everybody else is taken and comment um, some video ideas in the comments below and who knows I might just end up doing your video so thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like these advice videos I will do more because I do know a little bit about life I'm not all that stupid so thank you guys so much and I will see you all in my next video Bye, guys.